In February 2013, several powerful Scud-like missiles thundered into the city of Aleppo in northern Syria. AOAV recorded 140 civilian deaths in four separate attacks. It was reported that 38 children were killed when a single rocket hit the Arad al-Hamra neighborhood of Aleppo on the 22nd of February 2013. Arad al-Hamra itself was reduced to rubble. At least 65 homes were instantly destroyed. Governments around the world queued up to condemn the use of Scud-like missiles in such a residential area. The Syrian government has several types of these, and it isn't known which were used in the attacks in Aleppo. These are extraordinarily powerful weapons that explode with such total force that they rarely leave traces for identification. The Frog 7, or Luna M, is one of these missiles that the Syrian government is known to have used in several attacks. It weighs more than 2,500 kilograms, including half a tonne of explosives. The Frog 7 is a ballistic rocket, which means after the initial launch, it is guided only by gravity. The Frog system is a very large system and it's inherently pretty inaccurate, partly because of its age, partly because it's free flight, partly because it's uh, fired over quite a significant range, somewhere in the region of about 70 kilometers. It's not going to hit a target with pinpoint accuracy. It could hit somewhere within half a mile either side of its designated target, um, it's going to have an absolutely catastrophic effect on the nearby neighbourhood. So whilst not a weapon that you would necessarily expect to see banned under the laws of armed conflict or under future legislation, it's certainly not something that you could use with any degree of safety whatsoever in a populated area. Not least, of course, because you're firing it from so far away, how on earth do you identify what the designated target's going to be? Moving at three times the speed of sound, the Frog 7 is also one of the least accurate of all of Syria's missiles. If a salvo of these missiles were to be fired at Nelson's Column in central London, half of them would still be expected to land further away than either Covent Garden or Big Ben. A lot of these countries have some of these quite old weapons that have huge blast effects. Um, what concerns me more is the way in which they're being used. So to use those against dispersed rebel forces that are going to be uh, operating out of a populated area, an urban area, where a civilian population is at risk, um, is, is completely against all humanitarian norms.